Hey there everyone, I'm Round the Wheel, and welcome back to Wimmings for the Sega Genesis, and Feel the Heat is a good one. It's an oldie, but it's a goodie. It was one that really impressed me the first time I played this game, because it was like, no, that's not how you do it. And then it turned out, yeah, that's pretty much exactly how you do it. So let's get it on. Let's bang a gong and get it on. Let's go ahead and uh, have our guy climb up. We need to get a guy going, like right now. You gotta act pretty quickly in this one. So, uh, and it really, this one allows for a lot of leeway, too, actually. You can, uh, you can send a climber out just any old time. You got this little bump right here, so it's pretty hard to mess this one up. Basically, you just have to not get right in the very middle, and even that's not difficult to, it's not difficult to get in the middle here. How far over do we go? Wow, we actually have a lot of space over the far right on this one. I thought this one would be, well, this one is pretty small to begin with. It's easy to see why it fit into the field, but I'm surprised there's, so much space left over. Usually these uh, these levels use the space that you... Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Shave off the top step, and you're in. You're in like Flynn. Okay, so now, now I have to wonder if maybe I should have done a little multitasking. Okay, my guy is off going to the left. That's a big old waste of time right there. So now we got to get moving quickly. I may not have given myself enough time to do this properly. Okay, let's go ahead and, uh, gotta go ahead and, uh, build up a little here. Okay, I think I gave myself enough time here, assuming I, okay, yeah, there we go. Okay, assuming I give myself enough, I wanted to give myself the whole ledge here, because the miner tends to be, tends to have a lot of space over there to himself. I think everybody's gonna get out just fine. We might be pushing it with the, with the amount of time I gave him, but you have to save 100%. Get done mining already. Yeah, he'll make it across. As long as he's on the same screen, he'll get across in 30 seconds. It's not really a big deal. Yeah, you got to get him right on top of that exit. I think that counts as... I don't know. Can you do that? Can you do that in Genesis Lumings? Can you do the splat where you... Can you do the thing... What is it called? Where as long as you're in front of the exit when you drop... I think it's called like the drop distance glitch or something, where as long as you're in front of the exit when you touch the ground... They go in the exit. You can do that in the PC Lemmings, and you can break a few levels that way. I don't know if I just accomplished it there or what, but it's a quick one, and it's an easy one, and we're moving on to 22. Come on over to my place. That's another old one, but now we have to save 100% of them. How did I do this before? Uh, I don't have any climbers, so that's not good. Uh, generally, I just kind of cram the place out is what I think I usually do. I kind of just, uh, let's go ahead and, oh no, this is one I think I used to do with the, with the thing I was just talking about, with the drop height. Um, ooh, I'm tempted to see if I can do that here, actually. Uh, let's go ahead first, though, and just, uh, let's just get ourselves digging out of this whole, uh, this whole, oh, whoa, 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 well, is this a splat right here? It looks like it might be, but you can't get really, you can't really get through the steel, though. I think you could probably break this one pretty easily. I don't want to see if you can break this one real quick. Let's let's let a few guys splat, and I think I might be able to... I think I might be able to... No, you can't get away with breaking this one. Well, shoot. Well, this one isn't going to be so bad. I can, I can employ a little trick. I have to save 100%, but I can mine a guy out of this mess. So, I do not want a miner there. That would be awful. Okay, let's get this going straight then. Okay. All right, one, two, and then, uh, and then, uh, let's see. Okay, no, that's not good. Uh, I don't need a basher anyway, though, so, uh, let's get this going. Yeah, let's get this going straight away. Okay, yeah. Okay, dig, dig, dude. Okay, yeah. All right, I'm already, I'm, looks like I'm actually wasting builders pretty significantly. Okay, so let's just get him going across the top here. This could get messy, but I don't think it really will. All right, as long as everybody does what they're supposed to, then things will not get too terribly awful. I just need to watch my number of lemmings. I, I think we have 50, so I need to... I might end up pumping the release rate at some point. I'm not sure, but I'm going to have to dig right here, and that's going to... I need to dig in a way that... Okay, yeah, I need to dig in a way so that... Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much what I plan to do right there. Alright, so now... 
Okay, yeah, so now we can start cramming guys onto the... This is where we need to use our uh, mega builders. Okay, yeah, some of you can turn around. What? What are y'all doing? Why are you doing that? Why are you playing a homie like that? That is absolutely not cool. Yeah, I need to get him, like, right up on the edge of that. That, ah, uh, that just wasn't cool. Not cool at all, sir. Actually, I shouldn't have to do a whole bunch of mega builders over here once, as long as I line this up properly. As long as I line this up so he's, like, on the middle of this top step here. Okay, yeah, that should pretty much work. And then a guy will walk off to the left. Maybe two will walk off to the left. Okay, yeah, two walked off to the left. But we can still salvage this. Okay, yeah, and then we'll just have the digger build to finish up. Okay, that's a few too many. I'm getting a little, getting a little crazy with the sickness here. Okay, so let's get the release rate up and going now. I want to get this. I want to get. I want to get to where we're getting about. Okay, yeah, we need to get to that. We need to get to that 50 rate. So, okay, yeah, this is gonna make it a little bit complicated. Okay, we're getting down to. We have two out, so we're looking for 48 here. All right, number 48. Now we can probably crack it down again. All right, let's get this going down because we need a guy. Yes, that's the guy we need right there, the last one. All the others can walk out whenever. Oh, God, you're going to turn around now, and you're not going to release him. Oh, good, you did release him. Okay, I got a little scared there. I'm trying to talk and do all this stuff at the same time. There's our two floaters right there. They're going to the exit. Everybody else is coming around the way. Now we've got one chance to get this right with uh, the what's-his-face, with the basher. Hopefully the basher gets this right. You better get this right. God, why didn't you get that right? Huzzah, they got it that time. Holy cow, that took like four tries of luck to get that to work out the way I needed it to. But at least it finally happened. Yeah, that one got... I got a little more frustrated than I normally should have on that one. I think because I've always solved it the PC way of just dropping straight down. And it's essentially breaking the level and then never having to solve it. Never having to solve it legitimately. I think that kind of... I think that kind of impaired me in a way. Didn't really prepare me for this level. I was like, ah, an oldie. But then I actually kind of had to solve it in a legitimate way. And that kind of ended up hurting me. But it's no matter now because we've got our 100% out. We saved our guy over here with the miner. And the got the blocker free. Made him a floater. And we had two whole builders left over. Fantastic. Let's move on now. I always thought it was a little weird that you had to save 100% on that one. Uh, but then again... I never really had to worry about it, so whatever. King of the Castle. This is a boring remake of a boring level. I can't believe they kind of left this one in here. I think they should have... I, I know they made a lot of original levels, but I think they should have kind of cut out some of the more boring remakes. Like, this one is this one is hard for stupid reasons. Like, now we gotta, now we gotta like, build our way over this and uh, not get anybody... We can't really kill hardly anybody. I think we might have to save 100%. You definitely can save 100% this level. Okay, yeah, let's let's start doing this. I think we might... Uh, hopefully that didn't... I wasn't really paying... I think you have to save like 95%. Okay, this is not a good start to that, though. What we need to do, at least, is seal up our pit. I think you can afford to kill maybe... I think it said 95%. I can't remember. But I really should have looked into that a little more closely. Uh, actually, yeah, I want to look into that. I want to, I want to do a quick nuke so I can, uh, pay more attention to my percents. Whoops! That probably, yeah, I should probably, should probably read the instructions, huh? Before I go whole hog on that thing. Yes, you can afford to kill a few. I just got paranoid. And I would rather not kill anybody if possible. You can definitely save 100% in this one. Though I might be, uh, kind of screwing myself with the bridges here okay yeah i probably should have just like let a few die and then uh because how many do i have to get to the top now two three four five six yeah uh, uh, i see no reason why i'm not able to do this let's just go ahead and have guys start building though until okay yeah until we get that little bridge patched up there there we go that's awesome okay so now let's start building up to yeah, that's perfect. Now, the only thing we're going to really want to do a little bit differently here... Well, actually, I don't even think it'll make a difference with splat heights. Uh, it might. I might have wanted to just start from like... Uh, even then, I don't think anybody will really go Kersplatsky. I might have used too many bridges here. 
let's see, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, as long as I get this, as long as I, as long as I nail these distances, it shouldn't make too much of a difference. This isn't a hard level. It's just really more of a tedious one. But one thing I like to do in this one anyway is to uh, change up my bridge plugs a little. Make them go a little higher so that there's not that worry of splatting. There might... Nah, no, they won't splat over there. I don't think that's going to be a problem. All right, let's get a guy going now. Two bridges up to there. This one should not be problematic at all. I see no reason why it would be. So let's skip to the end with the magic of Jedi editing. I think, well... Well, I gave myself plenty of room there. I, In fact, I might have given myself too much room. I'm not going to use up all my builders for sure, but I thought I was going to get out of here with two spares rather than one. I might be able to reach the... Well, no. I didn't give myself enough stretch room. So, yeah, I'm going to have to... I'm going to have one left over, but that's not the worst thing in the world, and I raised my release rate with almost everybody still left over. So, I think I did it. I think I did a pretty good job. I could have killed five lemmings, and I only killed two, and even then, that was mostly by accident. So, that was not an awful thing. What would be an awful thing would be to put a little teensy gap right here. That would have really made this a cruel level, I think, if they had changed that just ever so slightly for the taxing version. That would have... That would have definitely raised the stakes a little, I think. If you weren't paying attention, it's the kind of thing you could get tripped up by. Did that make the music skip? I think the I think the little farty escape made the music skip a little as well. Watching Lemmings walk is boring, so let's just cut it out altogether. I almost didn't give myself enough time to beat this level either. Good time they were all, or good thing they were all walking up as I built. That's kind of what saves you in that level. That's I think that's usually about the way I finish up there. Level 24, keep all enemies out. You don't really have enemies in Lemmings, unless, except for the traps, which are kind of inert and have no allegiance one way or the other. Now, when you get to Lemmings Revolution, there are actually these weasel enemies that you don't want to you don't want to get your Lemmings tangled up with them. There's actually a a physical villain in that game, and that, that makes it that makes things a little more interesting. But in Lemmings, you have no actual enemies. 20 Lemmings, gotta save all of them. So yes, keep all the enemies out. <laughs> Uh, this is just another Oh No More Lemmings level. <laughs> oh man, this is the stack from, this is level 6 from Oh No More Lemmings. So let's go ahead and uh, get our stack on. Let's start stacking them up good. Okay, so we're going to have to build in such a way. Well, maybe. Uh, let's build in such a way, though, that we get exactly right up on, I think I may have gone a little too early, actually. Hmm, this is an interesting arrangement, though. Oh, uh, he's going to be like one pixel off it. Oh, wow. Wow, that was as close as I could have gotten, actually. Um, This is an interesting arrangement. I don't remember it being quite like this. This makes it... I, th I thought they were parallel in the stack. So... So this is going to be... This is actually going to be slightly tougher. This is a weird little spin on it. Let's have another, let's have another, let's have another guy come up the way, actually. Alright, we're going to have to get really, the point up on here, uh, that makes it kind of like the snow pillar from the original one. We might want to raise our release rate while we're at it, too, so that everybody kind of gets going out. Okay, and perfect. Okay, perfection. Perfection achieved there. Alright, but I don't see how... Something's up here, because the digger is just going to keep going. That's one, two, and then I'm going to have to make him stop. That's three. How do I get everybody out? Maybe I just have to get everybody up here in the first place. Hold on. Hold on. This is really weird and funky. Something, something is definitely up here, because usually you can just... Or I must just not be remembering it correctly. Oh my god, everything is falling off the rails. No! Okay, I'm not sure what happened there. My brain just went completely stupid for a minute, though. Hopefully he'll still get close enough where he goes right up to the edge here. This is this is just the way... I had to actually look at the original stack. Okay, he's going to turn around. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, good. That's... Okay, well, now I'm as close as I could have gotten and still actually pulled off. <laughs> Okay, so, alright, let's let him get a little farther down this time. I want him to be able to, like, 
finish up. I don't know what happened here. I just had this weird kind of freak out. I was like, they put, they did something different to it. And, uh, actually, no, they didn't. I was just being a paranoid weirdo. There goes my brain using, using itself against itself again. That kind of weird limbing style. Okay, so I think this is about the time to send a guy up. And then we could have him start to build right, right now. Okay, so now he's going to have to dig. Yeah, this is just this is just your normal, regularly scheduled stack. There's nothing weird or insane about it. I just hope he kind of got his druthers together. Okay, wow. Oh, 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 good, 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 good. He can just go to the exit now then. That's good. And uh, we can get everything else going perfectly from here. We can get them going up because we need to get them going now. This is a level with a real kind of time press element to it. So... Okay, yeah, he made it to the exit just fine. They're going to make it up top just fine. Okay, everything's going to go pretty hunky-dory well. I want the big mess of lemmings coming toward me. Yeah, they're going to they're gonna line up and jive just right. Okay, so now... Yeah, have him build to stop. And he might... No, he's just going to build a perfect bridge right along with the rest of them. So the only ones I have to worry about are these guys over here. They kind of got... I thought there would be a bigger mess, but there's only 20 lemmings in this level, so I could have I could have just pumped it up from the start probably. This is a neat little this is a neat little spin on your average snow arrangement. <laughs> yeah, this is normally an ice pillar with a rock on top of it. Now it's just got two big balls. That's funny. <laughs> okay, there was nothing weird about this level. It's just my brain kind of misfiring. I don't know what was up with that. That was weird and strange, but uh. Okay, whatever. I'm down with it. And we are down done with this level. Let's move on now to 25. Okay, are we going to be seeing more Oh No More Lemmings? They kind of watch left and right. 80 Lemmings, 98%. That reminds me of a certain level called Rocky 6. I was going to say Rocky 4, but that's an actual movie. <laughs> Actually, so is Rocky 6, if you count Rocky Balboa. So, uh, are we going to be getting that level going on here now? That's the that's the stat raise that are ha ha! I can't believe it. I was absolutely one hundred percent right. Okay, so we got nine builders here. This is this is arranged a little bit more funky, but yeah, it's basically they should have used the steel trap actually, because they they have a vine trap down here that you're supposed to build over. Oh, ho, ho, I can't believe it though. That's hilarious. Okay, so what are we gonna do here? We're gonna use our basher here on this arrow wall and then we are going to okay yeah let's get our floater going first of all and then uh he's gonna do he's gonna do all the heavy lifting all right now all right yeah let's go ahead and uh, just jack up that release right now i don't know if we're gonna need one builder to get over the exit or what but Okay, actually, nine builders is really generous, so... I can only kill one guy, though, so yeah, I basically have to reduce it to luck right here. Okay, so, let's go ahead and build our way over the ten-ton smasher. Build over that, make your little green polluted weirdo bridge, and then you, my little friend, are going to climb up over the wall. Okay, so, we're going to have to get him... Okay, good. He got right out. I think he made it just past the button, actually. I think I might have... I think I came really close to underestimating that, actually. Okay, so, now... Yeah, now we need to build to turn him around. Okay. Build to turn around, and then one bridge out here. I think we're going to end up using fewer than... I actually think we're going to end up using fewer than nine bridges, though... I wouldn't get my hopes up just yet. Let's go ahead, though, and build from about right here. Okay, yeah, that'll get everybody over the hump. So now we need to take one bridge to get over this. Whoa! No, what are you doing? Now he's gonna... Well, he might not hit the... He might not hit the weird untextured bridge ball thing. In fact, I think he might smooth himself right over it. Wow, I got pretty lucky there. Okay, so now... Alright, this is gonna take... This is gonna take some building finesse right here. We're gonna build up to over here. Hmm. Yeah, okay, this is, yeah, this is gonna, ooh, this is gonna be tough. 
Okay. Actually, maybe we need to get a guy going. Oh, no. This is ugly. Oh, this is some ugly business right here. I should have had a guy build and go over this thing. Here's where I should have... Okay, yes. I forgot I'm supposed to build right here to cover up this. I needed a guy to come this way so that we could, you know, kind of meet in the middle. Now it's going to look all ugly and weird. Okay, let's, uh... Let's try to get it... Well, let's try to salvage this, actually. Um, it's... It's actually probably... Uh... It might be doable... Uh, no, I don't know if I want to salvage this or not. No, and it's not, it's not going to happen anyway. He had, like, one pixel of land to achieve that there, and it wasn't happening. Yeah, I got to build over this, I forgot. So now I need to build up to this, and then put a blocker right here next time. Okay, 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 I've got this one, I've got this one. Okay, my floater is going to escape through there. Now I'm going to plug this up. Now I'm going to be doing a little bit of work. We're going to be doing a little bit of multitasking. Okay, that's perfect. That's what I wanted to do. Okay, so now, now what's going to happen here? Okay, yeah, everything is going pretty smoothly right now. All right, let's get a guy building. Oh, bu oh hey, I'm actually kind of where I wanted to be with him. Okay, good. Okay, so now we're going to get, let's go ahead and make him a climber so we don't have to worry about him. We can focus now on this part. Okay, that's about to get sealed up there. Oh, good. He has room to work. That's super excellent. Okay, so now... Mm, start to build from about... Here. Okay. And then he... Here is going to be our blocker. Yeah, we're going to put him up on top of this thing. That gives us... Okay, that's... And now we're going to meet in the middle. Now... Now we're going to have our meeting of the minds. That's going to be... Okay, yeah. Alright, so cut to perfection. Well, first... Whoa, 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 whoa. Ha ha ha, I was about to have a dumb little edit there. But, no. Let's not rest on our laurels just yet. I was about to have an edit to perfection, but no. Not quite. Let's make sure... Let's make, let, let, make sure they're not turking our gerbs. And let's make sure we have this nailed first and foremost. Yeah, I get it creeping up to 99 there. That'll, that'll work out. Oh, man. Oh, man. I gotta be really careful that I don't take away... That I don't take away that little bit of land there. So I'm going to start from like right... What are you doing? What? Oh, well... God dang it! What are you doing? Why? Why are you a snot? Ugh! How about building now, you little trust fund weenie? There you go. Alright, well... Oh. Well, I don't know. This might actually take some stretching out. We might have wanted to have gone from the edges here. Well, since they look about roughly equivalent height... Yeah, I don't think there's... I think I may have stretched this out a little far, actually. I might have wanted him to go from the very edges of each one. Boy, this is taking more calculating than I figured on. Yeah, there's no way he's making it across with... Yeah, there's no way that's happening. Yeah, back to scratch from this one. I gotta get them really just close to each other. I think I have to go from the edges of each of these, since they are roughly equivalent... Uh, length. Okay, as you can see, I gave this guy's bridge a little bit of stretch and not my athletes. That'll give my athlete a little bit of a height advantage here. Just get to get real close up to that wall, and now is probably as good a time as any to start bombing through. Let's see who makes it through and who makes it doesn't. <laughs> oh my god, my tongue is all over the place today. Blah, 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 blah. And that should just about do it. I think the only real straggler here is the athlete. He should be able to make it across both sides of the screen in a minute and some change. That is the nice thing about some of these truncated levels, is that if you need to make it to the exit, time isn't really an issue, because as long as you have at least a minute, you can generally make it to the exit once the solution itself is completed. Although I think in uh, some ways, these Oh No More Lemmings levels are among the harder ones I've faced so far, because I'm having to tweak my expectations just slightly. Not only adjusting from oh no more lemmings to lemmings tile sets but also having to get used to these genesis dimensions when it's kind of weird elastic band stretchiness you know and I, I i got kind of frustrated with this level in a few in a few garbage takes 
it took it took quite a bit of you know doing and redoing. I would have definitely given my kingdom for some replay on that one. But that's going to do it for us today. Next time, I hope we can finish up tacting next time. Uh, the pace we're going, things seem to be going pretty well. Uh, knock on wood. But we are just about to mayhem, and that means pretty soon, in a day not too far from now, we're going to be seeing nothing but original puzzles being thrown at us. And I hope they're along the lines of fall and no life, because, man, those were... That was, that was the first real indicator that, you know... This version of the game has a greatness all its own, I think. That was the first really memorable... In fact, I got kind of a Dove Whims vibe from that one. It gave me chills. But uh, next time, we'll be moving on to level 26, and I'll see y'all there.